Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. In our live chat room at live.perillo.com, it's very exciting because we finally got rid of the dead chat room. So this question came in earlier from N52. What is SSD, solid state disk? Will it be the future storage? What are the advantages and disadvantages? Is it for desktop and laptop? Ah, solid state. That means it's solid. There's no moving parts whatsoever. And the advantage is, is that there are no moving parts. I mean, have you ever had a hard drive just go south on you? I mean, not literally, physically just die because it has moving parts inside. And moving parts inevitably will break down. It's mechanical. Well, when you eliminate moving parts from the equation, not only can you increase battery life, because there's nothing moving, doesn't need any extra energy, but you can also get an increase in speed because there's no friction. So you're probably already using solid state devices of sorts in, in the case of removable media. This is a solid state, well, if it's a card. If there's no moving parts inside this SD card, this memory chip uh, that I can put into my digital camera. And since there are no moving parts, like would be in what they call a micro drive, which you know some photographers still use, which is a small hard drive. Uh, this is smaller, more compact, flat, uh, and doesn't really take any extra energy because there are no moving parts inside of it. Is it the future? Oh yeah, you're darn right. Uh, now, as far as hard disks disappearing from our computers anytime soon, it's probably not going to happen. That being said, Microsoft has been working with hard drive manufacturers uh, to create a new technology called ReadyDrive, and I couldn't remember the name of it, and Henry in our chat room reminded me, and I, I thank you for the memory jog there, no pun intended. Uh, and, and these are physical devices that are going to be specifically geared towards laptops, because laptops you have to worry about battery life and moving parts and trying to get them thinner. And the idea behind these ready drives is that um, as much information is stored on this flash media or this uh, solid state piece of media, and it's faster, no moving parts, takes less battery, and takes less space. Total advantages. Now, at some point in the future, there's talk about uh, most data moving to holographic storage or actually being stored in intersections of light. That's way, way into the future, though. I, I think we're going to be dealing with uh, physical hard drives with moving parts for a while. And maybe in the next decade or so, we'll start seeing more solid state devices show up in our computers that will match speed and capacity. And, and the capacity would be the largest disadvantage of a solid state, well, a solid state piece of storage uh, in the sense that, you know, it's kind of tapped out at a certain size, you know, compared to hard disks where you have you can have several platters stacked on top of one another. Unfortunately, they haven't figured out how to do that with a lot of mainstream flash media uh, to this point in time. Solid state is if you can go that way, and sometimes you you have no choice. It is always a, a good thing. Again, uh, you know, this is this is the way of the future. The future is just starting to happen right now, and hopefully that answers your question.